All right, we are on board a CD Switch thanks to Lake Norman Power Sports. Uh, we are piloting it. Right now we're in neutral. To go forward, everything's done on the right side of the handlebar. To go in reverse or brake, it's done on the left side. Just tap the trigger once, we go forward. Tap the left trigger, go back to neutral. Hold the left trigger in, you go in reverse. Let go of it, you go back in neutral. And you tap that once, get, get a gas, start taking off, and that's the basics of how to drive a CD switch. So you have storage under each seat, which is definitely nice. Your seats are also super easy to move around. So if I wanted to move a seat, grab that single tab out, the whole seat just comes right out. And then to put it back in, lock back down. And any of the points that you see with the little uh, circle pieces in the middle, that's where you can attach seats. So you can literally attach your seats wherever you want on the boat. Make a custom design. Yeah. And you also have front storage. as big as a uh, yeah. yeah. GTI, GTX. Yeah, but you can actually use it all, which is definitely nice. Um, your rear seats, since they are movable, you can move them all throughout the boat as well. And then these ones fold down as well. And then they have just a point to where they will lock back up or fold back down. And then obviously you'll have padding up front for your people sitting up here if they can sit on a nice padded area. I just can't get over how quiet this thing is. Yeah. And everything except the captain's chair and steering column is movable. So your corner tables, everything. Nice big bimini. Very easy to put up. You got two clips oh, there, one there, one there, there on each side. This one has a swim platform. So two foot swim platform on the back. With the link system, connectors, swim ladder back there, pulls out, just like a regular boat. I mean it's pretty Pretty roomy. Yeah. Captain's chair swivels. And with the bolster so you have seat. An anchor point on the bottom. Or not nice one, but there's a tab on the bottom to actually be able to swivel that around. Oh, your standard navigation, lower lights. You also got the IDF, different drive modes. You got sport, eco, and, and touring mode. There's your sport mode there, ski mode, ramp setting for the. Um, Adjust it how the quick it takes off. Um, it also, and that comes standard on the sports. It's an Sport. option for the cruises as well. Also a standard option on both the cruise and the sport. You have your Garmin GPS unit. You can get a uh, echo sounder and turn it into a depth finder as well, or a fish finder. That's neat. You got a little storage here too. With a 12 volt. That's nice. And a smartphone holder. It's a couple tabs in the back to be able to actually mount it in there. It comes in with that two speaker audio system. All your audio controls are right there on the gauge as well, or by the gauge. I got the storage then all up here. Gas fill on the side. Beautiful, beautiful. So the railing you can get attachments to where you can put on cup holders, storage bags, wakeboard racks, and it'll attach just directly to the railing. So oh. that way it doesn't take up your space on the actual boat. That's neat. You got more link systems, connectors, and all that too. You got links down here. Gas tanks and all the accessories you want. Gas tanks, storage bags, coolers. coolers. Gotta have your coolers, that's the big thing. And we got anchor system up here in the front. Very neat. Very spacious. Get your compartment off on CD switch. I'm going to put the cover back on. That's pretty good sound dampening. One thing I want to point out since we're in a jet drive T2 switch is that you can be in neutral and turn the handlebars and still steer the craft. Gives you a lot more maneuverability around the docks, a lot more control compared to other boats. And the steering is very tight too. It's not like other boats where you get to turn really quickly. This is nice, easy, and gentle. Very predictable. Very, very predictable. All right, so you do switch. We are in eco mode right now, 230 horsepower. And we're going to see how that goes. We are in a break in mode, so the power is limited, but it's still plenty of power. Very predictable ride. For the power for pontoon mode. Stop 
a lot quicker. And it's so quiet. I just can't get over how quiet this thing is. Yeah, even under like heavy acceleration, you can still talk to the person next to you. It's yeah. amazing. That's crazy. They did a really good job of the, the damping. All right, so we got the Cedar Switch. I just want to point out the Bimmy top is quite big. I'm six foot tall and I could fit under it just fine, especially in this part right here. And it covers a good bit. Pretty much everyone in the back of the, the switch is going to be covered depending where the sun is and the location. We're going to try the CU switch in the ski mode. First, pulling tubes and wake borders. So we press the mode once we go into ski mode because we were already in sport mode. And we choose the ramp setting we want. One through five detects how quickly it's going to take off. So we're going to do one. Okay, we're going to set the speed. Let's do a nice 15. We'll press okay over here. Ski is ready. So we hold the throttle in. And we get nice, easy takeoff. is ready to go again all we gotta do is hold the throttle in again and you get the same predictable takeoff there we go and that's how you use ski mode on the c2 switch again thanks you to lego power sports um let me come out here and test drive this switch do a video on it um link will be down in the description below to their website and their phone number uh, i'm just waiting for him to bring the boat uh, trailer back and i just can't get over how quiet this thing is and how how predictable it is in the water it, the handlebars does make it feel like it's a uh, cu jet ski but it's so predictable especially with steering because of the weight it's much slower than a, a jet ski when you're going forward or when you hit the reverse turn the wheel, uh, handlebars it's a lot more predictable and easier going than a jet ski it's like it's it's like it's reading the mind your mind how like easy it is and we're right above the engine compartment and it's so quiet turn the blower back on and we're gonna wait to board now the thing with a um, jet drive is the steering is a little bit different from a normal boat so when I go into reverse so right now I'm in uh, neutral I still have the steering control but if I'm going forward I turn the handlebars to the right the nose goes right turn it to the left the nose will go left but as soon as I get in reverse you turn the handlebars to the right the nose goes right turn it to the left and reverse and the nose goes left that's usually uh, what pretty much the biggest learning curve that new riders have for jet powered uh, propulsion but since I have a jet drive I can still steer in neutral so I have a whole lot more control over this boat than someone out there in a similar pontoon boat so I can go up and creep up to it and the trick is to go dock is you you know just tap back and forth on the triggers so you tap once you go forward get your momentum up and you just tap that one put you in neutral if you go too fast just squeeze it in for reverse to kill the momentum very easy that's just the trick with jet drive is that you go nice and easy nice and slow no need to overthink it and with this boat in particular it's so much more predictable that it's really easy i think it's easier than driving a jet ski it's it's really interesting i have a lot more confidence with this than i did with a jet ski but here comes the trailer, so we're going to board it on to the trailer. Got the new Sea Dew switch. Just going to do a quick walk around. Just got done with a test drive. You can see how the matting's done throughout the boat. The Bimmy top's super easy to put up and take down. Literally just two points on each side, one there, one up there. Collapses down forward, stored in the garage. Nice and easy. This is the 230 horsepower one. Plenty of power.
This one comes with a swim platform. Still having the accessories put onto it too, so we're not completely done putting it together. Flush port for the deck uh, itself. You have a flush port back here. The trim tabs and a VTS variable trim system. Makes to pull in tubes or if it's really choppy out. Back door access through here and pop the seats anywhere you want. You can see this little circle indentations. Bolster seat. Tie down for docking. This one comes with the mirror. Trailer included. Nice little ladder to get into it from the ground. Uses a GTI body for the center tune. Still has sponsons in the back. It's made of the Polytech material, the same material that the Sea Sparks out, latest generation Polytech. Horn is right there. Front gate with the anchor system, you can store your anchor in there. Gate door. This one has a stereo system. Mats haven't been put in yet. Mesh they have it so they don't yellow. Last a little longer. It's very thick material. Driving the boat, it's very, very predictable. Very, I mean, if you're new to boating in general, this is probably the best option you have getting on the water because of how easy and predictable it is, especially with the handlebar design. Forward and neutral reverse triggers. So we'll have the blower bilge pump you expect. The ladder back here, you just lift up, pops on out, goes back in. Grab handle here for getting back on. Swim platform. You can see how long it is with the link systems. You have the cooler, gas tanks if you want back here. And it's actually a textured material. Feels like rubber. It's what you want when you're out there and slippery in the water. No shoes on. This is a very nice material. You see how it's all paneled together, which is nice. If you break a piece, you just pop it off. You get a new one. On like a regular pontoon, you damage the tune. Or like a regular boat, you damage the fiberglass. It's expensive repair. This is just all modular. Pop off, pop on. Some screws. Got the navigation lights here. Of course, you get the one in the rear. Try tune design. When you get the speed, you're on the center tune. Makes it feel more like a Sea-Doo, but it's like a heavy Sea-Doo. Makes it more predictable, easier to drive and steer. 